you'll want to cook the ramen according to your package directions but do not use your little packet the flavor packet just put that in your miscellaneous packet drawer in your kitchen and once these come back up to a boil and are done cooking I'll come back my ramen noodles are done so I'm gonna drain them and set them aside in my skillet I have about a tablespoon or two of olive oil and to that I'm going to add this is about a quarter cup of fresh green beans and Here's uh, mushrooms. These are baby bellas. You can use whatever mushroom you like. I use just two mushrooms for this. Oops. We're going to saute these for, for a few minutes. Let the mushrooms reduce a little bit and the green beans to get a little tender but not mushy there's nothing worse than mushy green beans okay now I'm gonna add some about a half cup of fresh broccoli and continue to saute this until broccoli again is, is tender but not mushy you want it to still have a little bit of crunch okay, my broccoli is done so I'm going to take this off the heat and set them aside now in this same pan, I'm going to add just a little more oil. And I'm going to scramble an egg. Okay, that's done. I'm going to take this off the heat and, and get ready to do the noodles. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I have cleaned up my pan. Now I'm going to add good two tablespoons of olive oil. To that, I am going to add my ramen
And we want to uh, cook this this ramen until it gets slightly crispy. Get a good it gets a good char on quite a few of them. It's going to take a few minutes. So we'll let that sit and cook. Okay, my noodles aren't quite where I usually like them, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to add a drizzle of sesame oil. couple splashes of soy sauce give that a good mix add in my vegetables and the scrambled egg Give it a mix and make a mess all over my table. And there you have stir fried ramen. Thanks for watching.